Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing a brand new facial self tanner, or I guess not brand new, but it is to me. And one of my amazing subscribers recommended this one for me to try. So I am, so thank you so much for the recommendation. But this is the Salty Four Face Tanning Water. So excited about this one. So today we're going to be reading up on the details, trying it out. I will show you like a final reveal of what the color looks like. And then I'll let you know if I think it's worth your money. So lots of fun stuff today. But yeah, before we get into it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe if you haven't already. If you love anything about tanning or makeup, definitely make sure that you're subscribed. But if you want to see my review of this self tanner, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, like I said, shout out to my beautiful subscriber that recommended this one to me. Thank you so much for the suggestion. And guys, please keep them coming. I want to try out as many self tanners, face or body, that you guys recommend to me. I want to do what you guys want to see. So just let me know what you want. But yeah, this one is very exciting. By the way, my background is different today. I know I'm trying something else. I'm gonna see if like I like what this is doing. Once um, I start editing this video, I might keep this. I might put like a background, but we moved the room around so I'm not like up against a wall anymore. Let me know what you guys think though. I'm like curious. I don't know if I like this or not. I feel like it's kind of dark. So I don't know. Also, as you already know, if you hear any noises, it's my kitties, so I apologize. But back to this. So I have it pulled up on the website. I got it on the Salty Face website. So it is the Salty Face Tanning Water. It goes for $44. So it is pretty up there in price. But we're gonna see if it's worth it. Um, let's see how much is in here. Does it say 1.8 ounces? So this is actually bigger than the standard for your face. So I guess that kind of justifies the price being a little bit higher. We'll see how that plays out once we go through all the motions. But yes, so 1.8 ounces. That's actually a really nice surprise. So I'll read the description for you. It says designed for use on your face our clean formula feels like water and is friendly to sensitive skin the tan will develop seamlessly and gradual a non intimidating formula for beginners added botanical extracts hydrate your skin for a healthy summer like glow and then i got this in medium to dark of course so we will see if it actually makes me medium to dark it says it's vegan, naturally derived, fragrance-free, cruelty-free, good for all skin types, sustainable, and anti-acne, which are all things that we love to hear. And then let's see how to use. It says apply to a clean face as the final step of your skincare routine. I did put just like a little layer of moisturizer on my skin, like a thin layer, but nothing else. Add one to two dropperfuls into your hand and apply to the face using your fingers, blending to the outer edges over and behind the ears. Repeat application on your neck and chest for the most natural looking tan. Thoroughly wash hands after application. Tan will continue to develop for up to 24 hours. No need to rinse. Cool, so I will probably do the full two dropper fulls on my face it does say it's a gradual tan but it's supposed to be like a medium to dark so we'll see what that means once i start applying it now let's just see what it looks like in the packaging because i'm very curious about this 44 dollar bottle it's actually pretty big and i love this packaging this looks like skincare packaging to me, like a luxe skincare packaging. I love it. I, it just came in the mail, so it was outside, so it's like cold. Feels good on my face. But yeah, I love this packaging. I love the simplicity of it, and it still looks very luxe, so I'm loving this. And then just on here it says tanning water for face, medium to dark, salty face, and that's pretty much it. So let me see what this dropper looks like. Standard. Okay, so I don't really have too many other details. I think we can just 
get started on applying so as usual I'm just gonna put all over my face and then we'll talk about like what initially I've noticed and then we'll go from there so let's just get started All right, I just finished applying to my face and so far I really love this. I will say the first thing I noticed was that the consistency of this is very watery. It's not like I'm not saying other facial self tanners are like thick, but this is definitely a lot thinner than other self tanners that I've had with the same like idea to them like being in a dropper this was very very watery and thin of a consistency which honestly made it so easy to spread across my face and apply like I feel like I did it in no time pretty much like it just went by really really quick it's thin so it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that it feels really good on my face actually and I feel like it added just like an extra layer of hydration and moisturization to my skin so I'm loving how my skin feels right now so far so good I don't really think it has a smell to it like I feel like there was like a tiny hint of something but I can't really explain what it was wasn't bad you could hardly notice it again super easy to apply super easy to work with the bottle is beautiful I love the dropper pretty much it for now I think so far we are on the right track here obviously it's clear so I can't tell you anything just yet about the color so we'll see what ends up happening there tomorrow and I know it says not to wash it off but obviously I have to wash my face in the morning so as usual I am just gonna sleep with this on I'm gonna put myself tanner on my body and then tomorrow once I wake up I'm gonna wash this off my face and then I'm gonna show you guys like how dark it actually got me again I know it says it's a gradual self tan but it does say medium to dark so we'll see how dark this actually gets me right now I'm not getting my hopes up in any way I have no thoughts so far besides like really liking what it's doing me for me at the moment so so far so good but we will see tomorrow so I am gonna go sleep on this and then I will come back tomorrow and show you guys the final result all right guys I am back it's the next day and I absolutely love how this turned out on my face as you can see I feel like it's not as dark as like my body self tanner but it's fairly close to it if you ask me like last night when I was wearing it I would say I put my self tanner on around 7 30 and like throughout the night I was doing stuff and I looked at my face and I was like oh my god I'm like getting color like I'm like visibly noticing color and it turned out so beautiful so I'm very very happy with this I will say medium to dark it's probably to me for my face between a medium and dark I would say it reminds me of like the Saint Tropez um like the new one the tantonic water that I'm obsessed with this like reminds me of that the result that I'm getting with this seems pretty similar to that to me so maybe I'll have to do a comparison between the two we'll see but yeah love what it did for me throughout the night love how my face looks right now like it is like the perfect mix between very natural looking and still giving me color like I literally feel like this brought me back to life I feel like once I start getting pale again I feel like I just always look like tired and out of it and then as soon as I put a self tanner on my face I just get like color back into my life and that's exactly what this did for me so I feel so good right now it's so even on my face too like no splotchiness no patchiness no nothing it didn't like accentuate my pores or anything like that I feel like it looks very very natural so I'm super happy let me give you guys like a little close-up so you can see the only makeup that I'm wearing is like a lip gloss mascara and then I spot concealed whatever blemishes that I had on my face surprisingly it wasn't too many so I didn't have to use too much concealer but I'm not wearing like makeup on top of the self tan or anything like that this is genuinely how it looks and I am obsessed like I literally love this so much it turned out so good it literally looks like this is my skin but better it doesn't look like I have a fake tan on my face everything about this was great like no smell throughout the night it wasn't sticky 
It didn't feel gross throughout the night. Like it wasn't in the way of anything. Just super, super comfortable. Super happy with it. Like I give this two big fat thumbs up. I'm definitely gonna keep using this. Like I really, I don't know how I didn't hear about this brand before. Like this is really, really good. And I'm gonna have to try the body one next because I'm really, really happy with what this did for me. So stay tuned for that. But as you can see, obviously overall, this is a huge yes for me i love it love it love it i'm definitely going to continue playing with this and i'm gonna have to do some comparisons with this but overall everything like looks how it turned out on me everything about this huge yes i definitely think it's worth it so that's it for today it was a winner so yay <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed comment and let me know your thoughts how this turned out on me what you like what you don't like let me know what other self tanners you guys want to see from me. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.